Hi guys, welcome to Glitch Guru. In this video, we'll show you how to get a Mac OS like dock on your Windows 11 or 10 computer. So to do this, use the link in the description and go to this WinStar page. Here you will need to scroll down to this Windows 10 and Windows 11 section. Now scroll down to find the new version. Click the download button next to it. Now click on this download in pop-up option. Now here you should see this download icon next to this my doc finder app. Click the download button. So you will see this my doc finder zip file. You will need to extract it. Once the file is extracted, copy the file. Now go to the C drive. Now paste the file here. Once you have pasted the file, download the second file from the description. It should be my doc backup.rar. Extract the zip file again. Now open the mydoc backup file. Now copy all the contents in this folder. Now go back to your C drive. Open the mydoc finder folder and paste the contents here. Once you have done that, scroll down and find this doc64.exe. Double click on it to run it. And you should now see this Mac OS like dock on your Windows 11 computer. You should also see this toolbar at the top just like you see in Mac OS. You will also see your internet speed and all the useful stuff like the quick settings panel. Now let's focus on this dock. Now if you want to customize it, simply right click on an empty space. Now click on preferences. In this window, go to the general tab. Now scroll down and click on this start on boot method. You can select any of these methods. Now go to the appearance tab, scroll all the way down and you'll get the option to select your preferred icon themes. So you can choose any theme you like. You can also select the dock theme from here. You can also add or remove apps from here. Simply right click on an empty space to add an app icon. Now anytime you want to stop using this dock and move to the old layout, simply right click on it and select quit. This will bring back your old taskbar. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Glitch Guru.